Just one of these late model children waiting for the king. It's funny, I, I mean, I used the name for it, but it was a pretty crappy song back then in a lot of ways. I realized it later. I think that's probably one of the big reasons why it didn't get done for the record is just, it was pretty crappy, a lot of the lyric was. I had to fix a lot of that. She wants to be just like me. And I want every damn thing that I can see. Whenever we did the orchestral arrangement six or seven years ago, I rewrote a lot of that song. Um, I, mean, I think I've told some lies about it before then. Uh, about it being a centerpiece for the record. When I saw that quote on something, I was like, ooh, that's really not true, is it? give you your very own pair of wings. I mean, to me, it almost feels like a new song, although the title, I really liked the title back then. That was one of the words that was good, although it just sounded good. Clearly, yeah. But I mean, the rest of the song, I kind of had washed my hands of it until we started talking about doing that orchestral thing. And I started thinking about, well, what if I put some work in and really tried to fix this song? Well, I got my reservations. And now I love it. Now I think it's a great song. But I don't really equate it with that album or connect it with that album in a way because it was a piece of songwriting that would never have gotten on the record in the end, even if I'd finished playing it because I would have listened to it and realized this is not good enough. So to me, it's really like a piece of new material in a way. It really sets a stage in some ways. But you have to do that all the way through a song. It's not good enough to have it work in some places, but not in others. Do you think I'm gonna cry? Well, listen, I probably rewrote a quarter to a third of the song, which is for an eight minute song, a lot of song, you know? So three quarters isn't good enough, you know, when you really want to make something good. You, you know, editing yourself is the first step. I hope you weren't expecting me to be crucified. The best that they can do is just to hang me from the nearest tree. But I had been really obsessed with this record Joni Mitchell made called Travelogue that Vince Mendoza wrote all the strings for. Um, you know, it's a year or two later, maybe six or seven years later, when we get asked if we want to uh, do this thing. And I said, well, I'll do it on one condition and one condition only. You have to get us Vince Mendoza. If he'll do it, then I'll do it. Yeah, in August and everything after. Somebody else to bleed for me. 